Hello, welcome to Pop Along RC, and we're continuing on with our GT12 journey and the Atom 3. So, the first outing for the Atom 3 did not go as well as I would have liked, but when you do buy a new car and you build it straight out of the box, you kind of got to expect a few little teething problems. Fortunately for me, I had a couple of Schumacher drivers at hand to help me get the car dialed in and set up. That being said, um, the car was underweight, so I was lent a metal weight. This one is 108 grams that I put underneath the battery just to get the car up to weight, which definitely helped with the handling of the car. However, the weight kit that you're supposed to get with this, um, I have purchased and I will be installing into this car. Shifts the weight a little bit further forward because obviously you put it underneath the electrics, which sits in front of the battery. So, as suggested, we have got the weight kit for the Atom 3. So let's get these installed. Uh, I'm going to be using the Loctite that came in the kit. So with regards to the, the weight kit, really simple to install, simply turn the car over, throw the screws in and screw them all in place, super simple um, and you can move the weights around to try and get the weight balanced best you can in the car. So the next outing then for this car was back to MK and uh, it was time to test out the car once again. Okay, so second outing for the Atom 3. Changes are we have now got the weight kit in there, all bolted in. That's about the only change, so let's see how we get on. Okay, so round one, and it was not a great experience, I'm gonna be honest. The uh, balance of the car was a little bit out, so changes made for this round is, I've chosen to revert back to the settings I ran on my Atom 1 with regards to wheels. So I'm now running 10,000 in the side pods, 30,000 in the center, I've just changed that up. I'm gonna put a little bit less additive on the front wheels, hopefully that should balance the car out a little bit. Um, and I have also, on the radio here, so if I just show you this, I have gone to my throttle curve, I've taken it down to minus 30 to sort of just, yeah, hopefully make it a little bit less snappy when I go into those tighter turns. So uh, let's see uh, how that goes. So as you can see from the footage there, the car was still a little bit of a handful. When I first arrived at the track, um, obviously the car has got some modifications made to it. 
in the fact that it's got the weight in now rather than using the brass weight. But also, I decided for this video I was going to install some new radio gear. Um, the Radio Link radio that I'm using in this car, there is a follow up video on that uh, specific radio and uh, some of the features that it has. But it was really good at helping me fine tune the car. So the first round of qualifying really was me trying to set up the radio in tune with the car to try and get it round the track because the endpoints again were slightly out. Um, the Expo, although lots of radios have Expo, the way those curves actually work and how it actually feels on the radio can be uh, very different from brand to brand. So I had to find the settings that were right for me. As I went through the day, um, I was making changes, and again, in the second second round, I was actually pulling off to the side, making changes on the radio, which was really easy to do. So in the first round, my fastest lap was a 15.5, I think, and by the second round with the changes that I was making, um, it got down to a 13.8. Um, I think my fastest lap of the day was low 13. So from the top boys, I was still a little bit off the pace, partly because I was struggling with getting the power down with the car um, and I haven't adjusted to driving a car like this. I was ch chatting to many of the Schumacher drivers at the club and they said that the step up from the Atom 1 to the Atom 2 was quite noticeable um, and obviously there's a step up from the 2 to the 3 which isn't as noticeable but I'm making a jump from the 1 to the 3 so there is quite a lot to change about the way I drive the car to get the best out of this car. Um, and I've got to just put my hand up and say, I'm not a good enough driver as yet. So I'm going to have to work on my driving and yeah, really sort of dial this car in. I think it's going to take me a little bit longer than I'd hoped, but still enjoying the journey. What I did notice today as well is the back end was really twitchy at times. I resorted back to the setup I had in my Atom 1, running slightly thinner um, oil in the side damping. Uh, what they have suggested is I could go thicker again down the middle damper because the car at times was bouncing because the track wasn't as flat as uh, perhaps I, I, I would like. So to get it a little bit smoother over those bumps, thicken the oil in that centre damper and that should bring up the control level there um, and that's something I'm going to do this week in preparation for next week. I have noticed actually with this car it doesn't seem to allow for you to run your tyres quite as low as you used to on the Atom 1. So I was running these tyres really, really low. So if you take a close look at these tyres, you can see there's hardly any foam left on them. However, this car's already started to bottom out at times, um, and I've still got loads of foam on there, and there's not many shims I can actually take out of this car right now to get it a lot lower. So I don't think you're gonna be able to run the tyres as low as you could on previous versions of the um, Schumacher Atom. Anyway, it's just week two with this car, so we've got a long way to go. Still enjoying the journey. Um, I'm going to make a few changes this week, and I will report back after the next run of the Atom 3.